a centenary to the lockout. It's been from James uh, Connolly's old comrade. Friends, comrades, citizens, brothers and sisters, the mission that I have come to preach, lack of those specs, where is wardrobe? Is the divine mission of discontent. For the last seven months, the employers of Dublin have used starvation as their weapon upon defenseless women and children, hoping in that way to break the manhood of husbands, fathers, friends and brothers. But they have failed, as all tyranny will fail, before the terrible anger of the risen people. We, Martin Murphy, you see, believed that Christ died for the poor, that we may be content in our poverty, and for the rich, that they may be sustained without threat to their possessions. God, said William Martin Murphy, is a good investment. Hunger, said William Martin Murphy, is a good sauce. But our God is the God of deliverance. And the hunger that we have awakened shall not be satisfied by bread alone. The masters of industry, so-called, the captains of capital, so-called, the merchant princes, the merchant princes, no less, self-named and self-praising. They said, they said they would isolate Dublin. They said they would break the spirit of the people of Dublin. They said they would wait and watch us starve. Dublin stood. And Dublin persevered. And Dublin, with the great help and solidarity of its allies at home and abroad, Dublin survived. And Dublin sent forth its clarion call and its example to the peoples of all cities and all nations. And Dublin said, as with Camille de Moulin at the gate of the Bastille, on the evening the peoples of the earth entered through it onto history. Dublin also said, the great are not great. The great only appear great because we are on our knees. Let us arise!